I love that quote. I just love that quote. I saw it when the Olympics were on and I just thought, what a great quote, especially from somebody so young, bless her. But it's so true, isn't it? I mean, I, I have another video in my Make It Happen Monday series where I talk about comparing ourselves to other people. Yeah, and it is disastrous. It's disastrous when we compare ourselves to other people um, because we are always going to end up falling short or tearing other people down to big ourselves up or tearing ourselves down and bigging them up. And, you know, it's just, it's, 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 it's a road to nowhere. We need to compare ourselves to us. That's it. We constantly need to just move and compare ourselves to us. But anyway, I don't wanna to talk too much about comparing ourselves to others because I've done that in another video and I'll put the link below this video. What I wanna talk about this week is finding your unique voice. Um, and I thought that quote was such a great starter to try and demonstrate to you that no matter who you are and no matter what you're doing, other people are going to compare you to other people. And it's the knowledge that that is gonna happen that stops us sometimes from finding our unique voice. What we tend to do is we tend to look at what other people are doing and then we automatically kind of go, well, how can I do it more like that? Or how can I be more like them? Um, and then what happens is by doing that, we end up just kind of deciding that we're not good enough. That's generally what happens is we look at other people and we say, well, I'm not as good as they are. You know, I, I can't do it as well as they can and therefore I'm not good enough. Making this video series, for instance, I could quite easily turn around and say, well, I'm no Tony Robbins, you know, I'm no Marie Forleo. But no, you're right, I'm not. I'm neither of those people. I'm no Gary Vaynerchuk, yeah? I'm Joe Barnes. I am me. I will stand up like a tree, happy or sad, good or bad. That's a Diana Ross song. I'm sorry, I completely digressed. But anyway, <laughs> I am Joe Barnes. That's who I am. And there will be people out there who will resonate with me before they will resonate with any of those other people I just mentioned. No matter how good they are, the simple fact is, is that some people will just simply prefer my delivery. Yeah, or some people will like my message and my delivery just as much as they like other people. Yeah, I happen to like lots and lots of different people who have all sorts of different ways uh, of, of communicating their message, yeah? But I am me, there's no point in me trying to be like Tony Robbins. There's no point in me trying to be like Marie Forleo or Gary Vaynerchuk. You know, the simple fact is, is each person has their own personality, their own way of communicating and delivering their message, yeah? And that's really important for you. You have to understand who you are. You have to decide what's your voice. You have to decide what's your message and you have to decide what's your way of communicating and delivering your message. Just because somebody else in your niche or industry is doing video and you happen to hate doing video doesn't mean you have to go and do video. Maybe you are an awesome writer and you can get your message and everything that you want over in a book or a blog or a cartoon, um, you know, cartoon thing. <laughs> I can't think of the word. You know, the, the strips of cartoons. Maybe that's your strength. Maybe somebody else writes an amazing blog, but you're fantastic on video or audio. So your thing is podcasting. Maybe you're not that good at doing content at all. Maybe your thing, you're really, really good at creating courses or creating products or you know doing paid advertising or something. So you get other people to come in and communicate your message and brand for you. It doesn't really matter, but the simple fact is, is whether you're the face of your brand or whether you're behind your brand, you have to find your unique voice, the unique voice of your brand, yeah, your business, whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. I always remember a fantastic interview I watched with Marie Forleo and a lovely lady called Chris Carr, who is behind the Crazy Sexy Cancer Diet books. Um, and uh, Chris was saying that the key to the turnaround of her business was when she discovered her voice and trusted in her voice. And that's the key. It's trusting in your voice, isn't it? You know, we all have those self-doubts going around in our head. We know we're going to be judged. We know we are. We know that the minute we get out there into the public ether, that people are gonna start judging us. But you know what, it doesn't matter. People are gonna shoot you down in flames, whatever you do. I hate to, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it doesn't matter what you do, how good you are, how many people you're trying to help. The simple fact is, is the world is full of negative ninnies and they are 
unhappy and dissatisfied with their life. And so they're going to see you and they're going to hate everything you stand for and they are going to come and shoot you down. It's going to happen. And you're just going to have to live with it if that's the kind of business that you want to grow. Yeah, you're just going to have to deal with it and ignore it and just... I've done another video on how to deal with trolls, yeah? <laughs> just ignore, delete, delete and block is your friend. So the simple fact is, is you need to stop worrying. I know this sounds, this is easier said than done, isn't it? But you've got to stop worrying about what others think about you. That is the key to finding your unique voice, is to stop worrying about what other people think about you and trust, trust in your knowledge, trust in your experience. Yeah, you are where you are. You have learned whatever you've learned. You've taken in whatever you've taken in over your life. Yeah, and I am absolutely 100% sure that you have got a message, experience, a solution, um, you know, stuff that you can go out and offer to people in your industry, in your niche that they don't know yet. You know, you're needed, your message is needed, your brand, your solution, your business, it's needed out there in the marketplace. So you just have to find and trust. I, I, I'm going to almost swap that around from, from tr find to trust to trust to find because I believe that once you start trusting your voice, yourself, that's when you'll find your voice to be able to push out and communicate your brand message. You have to start trusting yourself. Are you always going to get everything right? Absolutely not. No. Are you going to get it right 90% of the time? Absolutely. Yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> You've got to start trusting your voice. And when you trust your voice, then you will be able to get out there and communicate your message to the world. And I think, you know, this has been particularly important to me of late because of where I'm at with my business, particularly when it comes to things like selling. You know, I see other people who are incredibly good at sales and there's a lot of hype and a lot of, you know, sort of scarcity and do, 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 and that's just not who I am, you know? So now when I do my sales videos, I am just who I am. I talk exactly like I'm talking to you right now. I explain what people are gonna get. I do it in my own voice. And you know what? I don't hit as many neuro-linguistic programming buttons when I'm doing it, yeah? I probably don't sell as much as I could sell if I could press all those buttons and say all the right things and all the rest of it. To heck with it, I don't care. Sell less, be me. I'm happy with that. You know, if I can sleep at night and I'm really, really happy with what I'm doing and I believe I'm giving the absolute best value I possibly can to the person that's consuming my message, then I am happy. So my little motto now is sell less, be me, you know? <laughs> and the chances are that will actually end up and result in me selling a lot more because I will be genuine and authentic and people will trust me um, and all of that kind of stuff will come into play. So trust yourself. Trust your voice, because believe me, the only voice that's right is your voice. The only voice that knows what's best for you and what's right for you is your voice. So trust your uniqueness, okay? Trust your voice and then go out and communicate that to the world. That's your challenge for this week, for life. Trust yourself. I do hope that uh, it's been a bit deep this week, I have to say, um, but I do hope that it's been helpful and that it's made you think a little bit. Um, and uh, please do come and have a chat with me in the comments below. Let's have a chat about this. This is an interesting subject, isn't it? About kind of trusting ourselves and having that unique voice and finding what it is we really want to say and communicate to the world. So come and have a chat with me in the comments below. Other than that, have a fantastic week. Live on purpose. And of course, as always, make it happen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.